Right, we're looking at product rule for counting. Now, that's basically, um, I know you can count, I can count too. Um, but this is a method, a quick method of um, coming up with different arrangements, uh, how many different arrangements you can have. Now then, four friends can arrange themselves uh, in a line. So how many possible arrangements are there? Now then, um, what? so for the first position, there's four choices. For the next position, there's three choices then two, then one. Now that's known as four factorial, right? And you end up with 24. So there are 24 different uh, arrangements that could be made with those four friends. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. Now, team of five basketball players uh, need to be chosen from a squad of eight. So how many different possible teams are there? Now, this, this will surprise you about how many different arrangements there are. Obviously, each basketball player can only be picked once because they can't clone themselves. So for the first pick, there are eight choices. Second pick, seven, six, five, four. And that's five people. I've got five numbers there. Stick that in my calculator, six, seven, two, oh. All right. It's, it's quite a lot of um, different choices the coach has at their disposal. All right, so there you go. So how many four-digit numbers can be formed using each? Well, it's essentially a very similar question to this. All right, I've got six numbers, so I've got six choices, then five, then four, then three. There's um, four numbers there, and there. Okay, stick that in my calculator, 360. All right, so you've just got to read the question carefully. Now, this last one, I'm going to do in a different colour because I have a feeling I'm going to spill over into other boxes. Now, how many odd numbers greater than 800,000 can be formed using each digit only once from those digits, which are the same as those? Okay, so it's got to be 8, then one, that would be an odd number. I could have eight and then ends in five, and I could have eight, then ends in nine. So that's all the possibles there. I could have nine, one, and I could have nine and five. I obviously can't have nine and nine because the numbers are only going to be used once. So there's five different beginnings and endings I could have, right? Now, the numbers in the middle, the four numbers in the middle, I can calculate. I'm going to change colour again, actually. So these bits in the middle, there are 24. It Well, sorry, four factorial, because there are four numbers on there, and we know that's 24 already from there. Okay, so actually what I'm doing, there's five lots of 24, which is 120. All right, so it's not overly difficult. It's, it's using factorials. It's thinking about, well, hang on, how many different options do I have uh, to pick the first person or the, or the first number or what, what have you? So, it, have, you know, if you think about it logically like that, then it's not too bad.